Hey guys and girls, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are today looking at American Truck Simulator, starting fresh, um, right from the first uh, mission you get up until roughly where we're starting our own company. If we get time, we will start doing jobs on the company as well. So welcome, sit back, relax, and uh, let's get on with it. Rightio, so first of all, we've got F1 to pause, F2 to toggle the side mirrors, and F3 to uh, for the toggle root advisor. So F1, unpause it. F2 will show me my side mirrors on the top of the screen. F3 will show me on my navigation whether I've got, you know, where to go. So first of all, we've got the setup as automatic gearbox. Uh, nothing funny. We haven't got any uh, steering wheels or pedals or anything like that so it's mouse and keyboard for us unfortunately um, and away we go so pressing W we start the truck and then uh, we pull away Telling us that it's discovered a dealer. Um, from what I can see, it looks like we have to be where we just went past. So we're going to do a little bit of a detour, go around the block. We've uh, unfortunately not turned into the right street. Easily uh, or easy to make that mistake. So I'm going to pull up to the light, and it's green for us, so we might as well go. a bit early on the stop there and we shall stop here there we go let's have a quick look nothing there nothing there we can pull away I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> Swine. Right. So in we go. We have to uh, stop. Stop. Yeah. There we go. Press the following key to handle job delivery. So enter or num enter. So we go. Press enter. 
and it gives us three options where do you need uh, uh, where do you need it let's play it safe and uh, sorry i'm in a hurry now so we skip it so it'll give me an extra 90 xp if i park it exactly where they want it uh, if i want to play it safe just by pulling it in i'm going to get 15 xp and if i'm in a hurry i'm going to get zero xp uh, i'm not going to try and pull this in uh, exactly where they want it i'm going to take the easy option of 15 xp just play it safe uh, i am not going to do the, the third option because that's just stupid uh, for not getting any xp Overshot a bit. That should be it. And we can unload while pressing T for detaching it. Loading legs, detaching cables, and unlocking. And there we go. We've got our first results. Right. So we've driven one mile. Time taken 16 minutes. Yeah, because we went around the block. Uh, consumed a half a gallon of uh, fuel. Um, all right, base rewards, we've got 3 XP extra plus the 15, so we've got 18 XP, and that's put us three bars into level 1. Rightio, still level 0 as a newbie. Let's continue. While you're sitting there on the loading screen, uh, why don't you uh, like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that uh, you can get future episodes on this. Uh, all those nice little YouTube thingies that we need to do. Um, what I'd like you guys to do as well is please let me know down in the comments whether you would like to see more of this uh, American Truck Simulator on the channel. Um, whether we should uh, make a series of it or just keep it to a couple of uh, videos. Right, it says, this is your headquarters. Continue, press enter. It is pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's, uh, uh, it's a start. So let's continue again. Unfortunately, you don't have anything to park here yet. So there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move it in, uh, uh, in your world freely and run your own business from here. Right, good luck. Okay, thanks for the good luck. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at what we've got here. Uh, we've got B2K Logistics, um, which actually should be changed to Wasot Logistics. Um, we're going to probably just jump into options here quickly. I want to get the uh, whole lot down a bit, so I'm going to take the roster volume down to about there. Um, and that's that. Right, so first of all, we've got no levels. We've got, I don't even think we've got bucks, to be honest. Uh, we've got $1,800, so uh, great stuff. The other thing I would like to just check before we carry on, I want to make sure of the game preferences, uh, where we've got kilometers per hour and all that type of thing. Um, I just want to see where they've put that. Right. Let's try that and see what it does. Um, I don't think it's going to show me any more. Okay, Celsius, that's going to be kilograms and tons liters and um kilometer kilometers per liter and then that is going to be kilometers there we go so that's there i don't want canadian dollars though we'll go back to the us dollar that's fine by me uh 24 hour clock definitely going to be for sure without a doubt um 
and I think that is it for, as far as the stuff that I want to change I'm quite happy with that right so we've got a mail let's go to email brand new Kennewell trucks for sale um, yeah buddy I'd love to but I don't have bucks for it so with the showroom Phoenix uh, and that's Phoenix the truck dealer and we are here with a truck dealer and flag staff if I'm not mistaken um, anyways so let's move on um, since there's nothing we can do here we can go to the uh, job market get hired as a professional driver and uh, let's pick something that will give us some money uh, price per distance uh, yeah that's a f how far is this let's have a quick look trip distance yeah it's not too far let's grab that take the job and uh, we'll set off from there get our first bit of money in righty ho I reckon everything's there yeah it looks like the trailer's coming with so uh, let's get ourselves out of here whoop whoop not too close that's gonna be too close yeah that's gonna be too close I knew it took that too too uh too wide well not not uh, it's not too wide it's too narrow it's uh, not wide enough to be honest so uh, let's go full to the right get ourselves over the side and then a full lock left let's see if we're gonna be able to get out of here i doubt that so let's uh let's do a bit of wangling it is a long trailer, longer than I realized or thought it was. So um, we're gonna squeeze the speedable out the gate as best we can. That's a better exit. Okay, so we have to go left and left around again. And let's go and get the show on the road. So left here again. Hey buddy, the trade is long. to the front here yeah, and then we're going to hang a left I just want to make sure that car is not going to cut in front of me oh that was a bit late that was a bit late okay fair enough still made it stayed on the road
<laughs> you see the sign get hammered get nailed awesome that is so good that is so good uh, it's the first time i've actually read something like that get hammered get nailed yeah drink and drive eh? and you'll get your ass locked up no, i need to watch my speed as well apparently uh, you can get um, traffic tickets uh, for going too fast the cops will pull you over uh, all that type of thing so I'm going to try and keep it on the 120 uh, if I can or under 121 at least uh, to put it that way uh, we are only doing 95 now climbing uh, but not gonna take any chances you know rather take a few minutes more then uh, well, we go over the speed limit and we get nailed with a ticket. See there, it just jumped down to 105, it was 121, and yeah, almost, almost got into trouble there. And, then, and there's the cop right next to me, you sly dog, you sly dog, you. There you go, Ed, bud. I'll see you later. We are taking the exit as well, so let's slow down for the exit. taken that we could cross here and it looks like on the other side of this railroad track we're gonna turn right so we still go get ourselves over and light is green so we're gonna continue with the turn Whoa, I am taking it a bit wide but this thing is long man Yeah, I know we're slightly over. There we go, 72 at least. Now, let me just change lanes while we at it. So used to driving on the left hand side of the road here in South Africa, that I uh, am sitting my backside in the fast lane where I'm not supposed to be as a truck.
gonna go past. I got them. Yeah, it's just slow. Yeah, you're gonna wait now, son. I'm gonna put in front of you. Yeah, oh, that's one of them things. I was in the lane, you were merging. Come, come, come. Is it not, I mean, I wasn't supposed to be deducted money there though, because I was in the lane that he merged into. Um, yeah, I know he was in front of me, but I was already in the lane. Uh, so, what do you say? Do you think it was right for the money to be deducted there, or do you reckon it was a mistake on their behalf in the game? Come on, James. Well, according to our GPS, we've got another 16 kilometers to go, and it should take us another 12 minutes, roughly. And then we can hand in this job as well.
discovered a new viewpoint. Okay. Whoa, 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 crap. We, uh, I didn't look at that one. Right, guys, I'm going to have to take it into the field here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing. Shut up. I know. So, yeah, unfortunately, overshot this one because uh, I was looking at the GPS instead of where I was on the road. Uh, I'm going to have to try and cut back into the, uh, the road here again. So it's going to take us slightly more than 18 minutes. Oh, that originally said, so it still says 3 minutes, 2 minutes, but yeah, I just need to get past this traffic here. Um, there we go. There we go. I think we can cut in now. Seems to be empty, clear. And the yard is right next to the uh, gas station from what I can see. Which is going to be right here by the buses. Um, I think it's just around the corner. Page is covered. Yeah, I don't know what page, but I'm not too fast about the pages now. I want to get this parked here. Right, let's press enter and once again I'm going to just park it straight because uh, this is yeah it's a reverse and I'm gonna just park it in for now we'll get on to the reverse stuff and all the rest of it later on um, and that's gonna hook on the back there yeah I thought so well, why do they give you a bloody entrance like this shut up I don't know I'm gonna get this this trailer in yeah um, guys it's not gonna it's not gonna fit this way so um, I'm going to make a slight change have we jacked off now yeah it looks like we have I am botching this completely. I should have just said not now. I think actually I'm going to do that anyways. Uh, let's just go and I'll skip confirm. Um, time's running out. Okay, so we've gotten less XP but, um, and obviously a little bit less money because we uh, oh actually gone past level 1 into level 2. So we are now level 1 newbie almost halfway through. Um, We've driven 379 kilometers. It take, took us five hours and seven minutes, and we consumed 187 liters. Um, right, so now, skills wise, we've unassigned skill point. We've got one skill point we can uh, use to unlock something with. Uh, it says transportation of dangerous goods demands well trained professionals. Use your hard earned experience to uh, acquire the following. US dot hazmat certificates and a sustain a, a, a substantially increase your income. Okay, so we can go class one explosives such as dynamite, fireworks, or ammunition. Class two is gases, uh, and then the pre, you know the subsequent classes after that. Uh, if we look at uh, long distance, it says your long distance skill determines the maximum distance you can travel on duty. Initially, you are offered to drive no further than 403 kilometers with each new rank you become qualified for on rank 1 466 kilometers uh, and a 5% higher reward for delivering this long uh, distances longer than 403 25% uh, bonus for delivery distance longer than 403 rank 3 de delivers up to a thousand kilometers, uh, a thousand, almost a thousand fifty, ten percent higher reward for the distance is longer than six hundred forty-four. So yeah, we can start doing long distances. Then there's high value cargoes. Uh, all cargoes valu uh, is valuable, but some loads are more valuable than others. Uh, companies trust only proven experts to carry out these kinds of deliveries. As a reward, you will get rank one. High value jobs offers unlocked five percent higher rewards for high value deliveries. 
80% experience bonus for higher value deliveries. So that's just on rank one, guys. And that's what we can basically get out now is we're going to get 5% more on uh, the rewards and 80% more XP on high value cargo, cargo uh, fragile cargo next on 5 and 22%. Um, once again, that's fragile. I don't think we should go fragile right now. What we could do, I mean, while I'm on the road, I'm not too bad. Just in time delivery, that's going to be something that you're going to have to really, really push you to get there. Fuel economy, uh, learn various fuel saving techniques. Uh, learning very few, uh, various fuel saving techniques will help you make, uh, minimize your fuel consumption, particularly. Rank one, up to 10% of fuel saved when driving with the trailer, up to 10% fuel saved on driving free. So yeah, we can probably do that. It'll cost us less fuel to, to do our jobs. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should probably, I think we should go long distance, to be honest. That's either that or gonna be high value, uh, not high value, uh, fragile cargo, sorry long distance of fragile because fragile gives us five percent higher reward for delivering fragile cargo and a 22 percent experience bonus for delivering a fragile car so i think let's do the long distance one um just so that we can drive a little bit further if we've got jobs that, that asks us to go there we can actually do that i'm going to do that and apply it um then we've got another email it says uh need money we can help bank Dear sir, madam, we thought you might like to know that we offer favorable loans to new businesses. Do you need funding to get your business running? We are here to help. Please visit your local banking center for more information. Respectfully, sales manager at the bank. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's not talk about that then. Uh, let's double click it. I don't know why it doesn't want to select. It keeps on saying that... Uh, I've got an email, even though I've just looked at it and right clicking doesn't do anything, left click that doesn't do anything. So let's close it, it'll probably take it away, yeah it's taken away now. Alright, so when we were there, then we've got skills, we've got the bank, this is the bank where we can get loans, which will we'll give us $10,000 um, for $362 a day, uh, $50,000 for 1200 a day and 100000 for one point eight a day. Uh, the 400,000 is not uh, unlocked yet. Um, tempted as I am, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Yes, I want to get this to this baby that we've got here. Um, this is what I'm ultimately, ultimately going to be driving um, for our company. Uh, with, we've got our own trucks and so forth. This is what I'd like to get us to drive. Um, uh, as a company image um truck trailers we'll get on later because we can't get there yet we need to get uh, <clears throat> uh what do you call it a higher level to be able to get truck trailers to purchase them as well um so yeah that, 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 it'll, it'll all come at a later stage we've now jumped up to nine thousand two hundred and sixty three dollars uh which is uh, better than the, the the small amount we had early on but we will keep that for now. What we can do is we can probably go to, let's go to truck dealers quickly. Let's just see what is in the Kenworth. I don't know if I'm really, yeah, all right, fine. Let's have a look at Kenworth quickly. Visit the, or buy online. So we can just see what the prices are. And look at that. I mean, we are looking at $115,000, well, $115,500 just to start with our first truck. So, uh, and when we get to level 13, we can start running our trucks. Definitely to start running our own trucks. Um, that's that's level 13. That's a while away. Um, there's more pages, which is all, they all locked. Um, and there's nothing we can do about that for now. So level 20 is where we are going to be with a T680 high rise sleeper. Um, that is what I've got in the main picture. Um, and that's what I would like to get. And that's $170,000 per truck. So, yeah, we'll probably kick off with something like the Kenworth W900 day truck uh, to start off with, uh, just to get something on the road and get uh, other guys on, on the road, you know, like get ourselves some more drivers to get on the road with us. So, 
yeah i think guys that's it for today um as promised we'll start our own company and maybe do a job or two we have done that we started up we got ourselves the first job done as well um and uh, we will be going on from here so uh, thanks for watching i do really appreciate it you guys being here thank you very much for all the guys who subbed to me already uh, and please if you are new to the channel please do me a favor and hit that sub button there i would greatly appreciate that um and yeah guys like i said earlier in the video please let me know whether we are going to make a series of this or it's going to be random videos roughly you know if you're not too interested um or whether i should scrap it completely altogether so yeah thank you very much for watching and uh we'll see each other again soon cheers guys have a good one